Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. So today we're heading to a castle built in the 1500s that goes by the name of Connor Castle. It's a square tower, five stories tall or 25 meters ish. Yeah, it's 85 feet. So what I could find out about it was it was built in the 1550s ish, around about 1550. Um, by the Fitzgeralds, who were Earls of Desmond. They lost out in the Desmonic kind of rebellion. And they lost the castle. So, I don't think it was ever really a seat of power or anything like that. It's, it's not a huge castle. Um, and I know eventually it ended up in the hands of Walter Raleigh. It was kind of gifted to him. Well, in his hands, kind of, because he owned the lands around it. But... Before that, it was kind of partially destroyed in 1599-ish um, through fighting. And eventually it went to another family who lost it in 1645 to Irish Confederates who were led by Lord Castlehaven. While they were there in 1650, um, when Mr. Cromwell came over, he uh, sat upon a hill near called Gallows Hill, where he was executing people, as you could guess, um, and fired cannons upon the tower. Now, this bit is kind of unconfirmed. It's, it's rumored that he, he did this. You know, maybe he did, maybe he didn't, but he definitely sat in Gallows Hill and killed loads of people. He was a lovely fella, by all accounts. Absolute charmer. Um, but anyway, so the rumor has it that he was firing cannons at it, didn't manage to destroy it. So he just tipped on with himself and kept causing havoc around Ireland like the sound boy he was. And then in, I think it was the 1650s, maybe 1656, it was um, partially destroyed again by fire. And the Earl, I think it was an Earl who lived there at the time, uh, actually lost three of his daughters to the blaze. After this, the castle kind of, it fell into disrepair until 1851 when it was bought by Hilary Lestrange uh, I'm, I'm actually not sure was Hilary Lestrange a man or a woman I'm assuming a woman but I, I don't know um, and when Hilary passed away the castle passed to her son now when her son died in 1915 uh, the castle passed on he, he left the castle to the, to the state in his will so it came back to the Irish government. But since then it has fallen into disrepair. There's only one floor left in it. And I know we won't be able to go into it today because the, the main gate's actually welded shut. Um, it's only opened, I think, once a year for Heritage Week. So if you do want to go in and just have a quick look around, do, do you know come along at Heritage Week. Apparently they do open the gate. But today we're just going to go out, have a look around the grounds. A bit of cool history involved in it. So. You know, from what I just told you, the, the kind of the life story of it, it might sound like a, maybe a boring enough history, but if you look up the, I think it's referred to as the Desmonic Rebellion, that would have been quite bloody and a lot of fighting went in and around that castle. And obviously then the same when Mr. Cromwell was over in the Irish Confederates, it would have been quite bloody. So, Connor, where we're going, just to give you a bit of background, it's up near a place called Tallow. Uh, or it's about 30 minutes from Middleton and Cork. So if you're if you're looking to get here, um, I I would start out kind of towards Middleton if you're coming from the Cork direction or any main road direction. Oh, that's bloody dangerous. Uh, something else that I think is a pity, to be honest, right? And I, I've seen pictures obviously before I came out here to take my own pictures. Is the state of the castle because it still looks in relatively good condition externally. And this is something that when I visited Camden Fort, uh, I remarked on that, you know, the volunteers who restored it had done a, an absolutely amazing job because, you know, oftentimes you see really cool pieces of, you know, history that are left to the state that are just kind of left rot, which is a real pity. Um, like there's another one up in Kilkenny that I'm sure I'll get out to at some stage called Kilcray Abbey. It's absolutely falling apart as well. And, 
you know, they even have, you know, information boards and stuff there. So it's obviously something they have looked at. They must be aware that it's falling apart and needs a bit of work, but they just haven't done anything about it. There's also some like really nice views just off this road. It's, they, it's a pity the ditch is so high. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. But it is, um, there's some really, really nice views. We're nearly there now, three minutes, so I'll probably cut back when we get there. Now, where is the castle? There's an old church. Uh huh, there it is. I see it. So, this is kind of the town. Nice little town, actually. Pretty clean. I always like seeing that, you know, and you see nice clean footpaths and stuff. So, here we are. Um, you just come down here. There seems to be, I'd say, parking there. Or you could probably park there, or if you have a bike, you can park right here. Needs another clean because it's been destroyed by flies. I had this spotless last week, but anyway. So, there's a bit of informatia. It also, if you can see there, caution, care required accessing grounds because I don't think this is kind of like a super tourist attraction. Because it is kind of a old and fallen down I don't know what that says but there you go some information on the castle itself that I didn't give you so oh about 1500 it said 1550 where I was reading it online but there you go so what I'm going to do is pop off the helmet swap over camera bits and we're going to have a walk up around so again there's a bit of information about Connor. There it is in Irish, which I highly doubt any of you can read, but there you go. And there's the old stone path that we're going to take up to the, the castle. There is the castle. I'm being attacked by flies. Not sure why, probably because I'm delicious. But it's pretty impressive. I don't know much will come out in the video because it's kind of bright. There's also showers and canteen facilities. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the local garrison. <laughs> Still an active base. Yeah, it's pretty tall in fairness. I'm impressed. There's a traffic cone in there. Yeah. So there's the river. I'll put the name there because I forget it. <laughs> but uh, that's it over there. So there's a serious view all around, which is, I imagine, why they use it for the old military stuff. I can see why Senor Cromwell was old baiting cannonballs at it because he was jealous of its classness. Oh. Well, I mean, oh, yeah, it's just a chimney. So yeah, there's some like proper nice sights up here, to be honest. And it's really quiet because it's not, <laughs> it's kind of a, a damned if you do, damned if you don't scenario. I was given out earlier about OPW not looking after stuff like this, but at the same time, if they did look after stuff like this, then it would be a lot less quiet and nice for us. Billy thinks it's being worked on. Oh, it does look like it's being worked on. I don't know, can you see that? There's stuff in there. In which case, OPW, if you're working on it, I take it all back. I'm very sorry and fair play because it's really cool. I like it. So if you've watched, thanks for watching. Make sure you caress the like button and gently tap subscribe wait for uh, the end of the video to see some tasty pictures of the castle itself it'll also be on instagram which will be there um yeah i hope you enjoyed it leave a comment if you did and and sh share the video and stuff do, do all of those things uh until next time adios <laughs>